I hope to explore the idea and forces behind the notion of repugnant compliance. I think um, an extreme example would be when um, a German was executed in, uh, by Czech partisans for Nazism in a motorcade for which the um, attackers enjoyed revenge in Dealey Clouds, among other things they were conceptualizing. It would have been repugnant compliance for people who knew who the Czech artisans were to give their names. Well, the swastika bearers just killed an enormous number of citizens. A normal, sane, urban commonwealth in America, Seattle or Pittsburgh, were they? Pittsburgh public schools, were they sane and normal? Would regard it as repugnant compliance to demand that a deaf, mutilated, tortured child of a senior faculty member at the University of Pittsburgh who was murdered owed due compliance to his father's killers. But UW Dialectical and the Gates Microsoft organization, swindling museums, brain for Israel, postal fraud galore, march onward with their tawdry demands. It would be repugnant compliance to ask the Palestinians to forgive and forget. They're going to bear the burden because they're forgiving people. They're going to bear the spiritual burden, something that is too difficult to shake. Repugnant compliance pertains also to the problem of Yoko Ono. I have faith in them. That's obvious from the history of my correspondence, my seeking them out. I don't want to trigger Yoko Ono's psychopathic mob more than I would have to to get across the point. She claimed to be a being of love. I have never encountered so much barbarous hatred. Of course, she will ploy that's an equal measure of her love because she sees herself as big sister watching you. In the film Kiss of the Spider Woman, I've talked about Diva and how it worked in the Green Party. Um, Huka convent system of two versions, which has been militarily um, adopted despite without any vote, without any feedback, without any um, willingness to um, surrender um, imprisonment is the uh, notion behind it. And I admit that the consequences have already been too heinous for walking into their trap and believing in them. The spell of the Venus fly trap that the Beatles poisoned our networks with. Eno works with Gail Burson through the Green Party system of um, sandbagger media. He's rubbing our faces in what's happened in Gaza with his poetry. Constituents. It's painful to know what they're doing and how they're going about it. You have no reinforcement whatsoever from other people being victimized. Terribly painful to me. But another film was one that Eno's protege, Gail Burston, took me to see, which was Kiss of the Spider Woman, in which 
an Italian fascist wet crocodile tears for the Alpors of Ethiopia who Mussolini had straight forth to rescue from the burdens of poverty. That they had no shoes. Encyclopedia Britannica in 66 quoted a El Salvadoran general as saying so much better that they feel the beneficial effluvium of the earth. Practical sustainable development goals do not make a mockery of the attempt to remedy the poverty stricken climate endangered populous regions of the world many of them subsistence farmers in times past there are people who understand what to do, and they're being obstructed and hindered by a gaggle of inside media cronies. It's sad. Uh, but Eno knows what he's doing. So did Grime and Warm Tom. There are things that someone like me had nothing whatsoever to do with, and we gladly engage in general public education reform to learn how best to decouple from policies that promote victimization and instead invest in a rescue mission for the hungry and wretched of the earth. Gladly would someone like me enroll in reform. But sad to say that's not the purpose of Brian you know's cowardly but very effective fight club medium on media. He generates people to attack each other. It's an old Pinkerton detective system. When someone has been victimized beyond repair, you find somebody who's in such dire straits that their suffering is comparable. And say, well, why don't you go help this person who's in dire straits who you know nothing about? It's a way of weaponizing the suffering that you have caused. You know, in person, Study and helped the society insider cult who manufactured Diva and Kiss of the Spider Woman. This bizarre game they're playing preys on the desire to do right by others. I'm not arguing that you should harden your heart, but you need to be aware of such things as the Rotterdam Women's Conference. Feminists who concluded that the most baited word in the human vocabulary, most often used to entrap, ensnare, and traffic people, children, women around the world, is love. It's important not to let love become weapons. It's very sad and scary that we're dealing with this in a time of social calamity caused by the perpetuation of times past. It should long ago have been put behind us. Hitler's Germany was a maniacal time. It should not be ever considered a precedent time. The only job that we have not finished is making clear and sure that this will never happen again to anyone. And by Gaza, we have failed.
It's a terrible scene. We must try to comprehend why Israel is doing it. They gave me a book to read when I was a little boy called That Was Then, This Is Now. The moral of That Was Then, This Is Now is I just wanted to make sure that I hated you. By seeing Biden cooperate in the felonious war crimes, they made sure that they hated Joseph Biden. They only wanted to see us put a stop to what they're doing. Instead, we have gone right along with it, abandoning all pretense of valor, equanimity, diplomacy, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, compassion, concern, ability.